So we have your auto cruise centaur here. So first off, we'll start off with your diesel cap. On the back side, you push in, get in, and then you use your ignition key to then take the diesel out. You can also hang it just down there whilst you're filling up. Moving down to here, you have the gas bottle. So in here, you have space for two gas bottles, seven kilos. You also have down there is your air vent. Make sure it's never blocked as if there is a gas leak, it has a way to escape. And it's your gas pipes on there already. You've just got to screw it straight onto your bottle, which is a propane bottle regulator that's for. Moving on down here, this is your drain tap for your waste tank. So that simply clips in up here when you're traveling and you just pull it out and drain down when you're ready to. So move on to the van. We have down the bottom, you have your reverse little sensors down there. On this here is your external TV point, so you can plug your aerial in, all in there. Just above it you have your spare wheel that's fed in there and you also have your roof ladder there for access up to the roof. Down here you have your cassette toilet with your socket system in place there. Little yellow lever under there, simply lift, pull out, and then when you drain it, just make sure you press that button in, and that's as simple as that. You just put your salt back on. Moving on to the other side. Up here is your mains inlet. Simply plug it in, and when you want to unplug it, just lift that up, and then it allows it to come out. And then on this here is where you fill your fresh water tank. So once that's unlocked as it is now, you simply push it in and twist and the cap comes out. When you put it in, obviously twist the other way until it locks fully. Use the key, turn the key to lock it, and then it will just continually spin and you know that's locked. So moving on to the inside of the vehicle, we have this switch here which works your electric step. So that will then uh, retract it in and that will retract it out. So by pressing the button at the bottom, it retracts the step out. And then obviously, once you're going away, press it again to retract it in. Moving on to your light switches, this little bottom switch here does your awning light on the outside of the van. Okay, just up there. This little switch does your main lights on the inside. And this is your entrance light, which is located down there. This is your 12 volt point with a little TV aerial point for if you want to put your TV on there. And that's your main socket point with your little isolator switch just up there. Over here you have your awning hand handle, um, just located in there with two little clips. And then moving on to the kitchen side, we have your fridge. So to run this on electric, you simply press that button there. That will then run it all off mains electric. That button there then allows it to run off the battery side. That only works when the vehicle is also running. So the engine has to be running um, and that has to be switched on. It just works as a chiller cabinet to keep your food nice and cool while you're traveling. This here is your thermostat located here. And then moving on to this side here, you have your gas. So you simply turn that, keep that pressed in and turn your 12 volt switch will then put the spark inside and once that's lit, that spark will stop. Moving up to here, it's just a little access locker to go under the kitchen sink and a little space for storage as well. Moving up to the top, we have the cabinet here. This simply lifts up and clips in at the top. And then you have your tap, which swivels around. It's located at the bottom with the hot and the cold, which indicates which you'll be using. And you can also mix it in. On this side, you also have a mains plug there. It's got a little cap on, so take that off, put your plug in, try and keep that in whilst you're not using it as it is in the kitchen area. Moving on to the hob, we have a little catch here, which then releases, which then allows you to lift your hob up. And this little plate here also helps protect your side from the heat. So moving on to your control knobs, you have your two hobs at the top there and your other two hobs, which then makes your four gas hobs. This here is your grill. Make sure that's open and stays open whilst it's lit. And then this side you have your oven as well, and that's your igniter switch. With all of these, when you press them, turn and press them in, make sure you hold them in for at least 10 seconds so it can detect that there is a flame and then let go and the flame will stay 
light. Up here we also have two little lockers for any little storage up there. And you also have a little light located just under there. So moving on to your beds, located just under here, there's a little switch there. That simply pulls up and allows you to pull your bed out and it does the exact same on the other side. So you simply pull that out all the way. You'll then drop this cushion like so. You'll do the exact same with the other side and that makes up into your bed. Now under here as well, Located down in there, that's your drain valve. So that'll drain your tank and your boiler there. So when it comes to your winterization, make sure you have this tap open and you then want to go into the kitchen and open the tap between hot and cold. And then you also want to go into the bathroom. And then make sure you open the shower and the taps, uh, the sink tap, um, both between the hot and the cold position. It stops any air block. Um, and the other thing in the bathroom is your toilet, which that button there does your pump. And then underneath, just down here, is your little lever. That simply twists and opens up underneath. So I'm moving on to the rest of the vehicle. Throughout all the van, there's your little push buttons here. You simply push them in, comes out for you to hold on to, and you can lift it up. So moving into the cupboard, you have your freestanding table located there with the leg for it located just there. And that then locates at the front of the van in the little hole just down in there, which has got the little covering. So moving back into the cupboard, at the top here, we have your aerial system. So that's lights on to indicate that it's on and you've got your on and off switch up there. Just up above there, you have your satellite system, and just below is all your main controls and your RCD unit. So that there is to turn your charger on and off. That's to select the battery if you want it to run off the vehicle or the van, which is your leisure battery. You've also got your pump, which you will then run on internal. On some models, you have the option for the external, but on this one, you only run it off the internal. And then this one tests what battery voltage is and what your water level is. And then just up in here is all your RCDs, labelled at the bottom what they are, and also your test button. Moving up to the back here, you also have your air conditioning unit, so you have it so you can run it off the hot or the cold. You've also got the fan speed and all there. Moving on to the heating system, you have your control panel here, which this button simply turns it on. And then this button here will go through different programs that are preset onto it. Now, that's all in the manuals if you want to go through and set the programs. That's going into the more advanced, and that's something that we won't get into at this time. So, moving up to the top, once it's on, you have the option to run off hot water or hot water and heating. You also have your fan speed there, which puts it to low, or you can have it on high. You've also got the button there, which you can turn on to demist the cab, and also at the bottom, you have the engine preheat. So, if it's on a cold, cold day and you're going to be heading off, you can turn that on and that'll preheat your engine up as well. So moving on to the front part of the cab, located just down here is your little lever. If you pull that forward, that then allows your seat to swivel all the way around. On this side and also on this side, both is your lever to adjust the back to how you would like to set it to recline. And the same as most cars and vehicles, this bar here pull up and it allows you to move forward and backwards. Down in here is all of your manuals for the habitation side of the vehicle. So we'll put them in the locker at the back of the van so that keeps all the habitation side to one part. And in your glove box here is all your paperwork, your stereo case, etc. all for the vehicle side. So you've got everything for the vehicle in one place and everything for the habitation in the other. Now, moving on to all your controls. Obviously that's your hazard lights there. This is to indicate where you would like the fan to be blown, if it's on feet, if it's feet and face, just feet, if you want it there, or if you want it on the windscreen there. You've also got this side, which does the cold, indicated by the blue, and your hot, indicated by the red. This is to turn your fan on, and to determine what speed you want it to run at, 
or if you want it to run just at the window itself. And then at the bottom here you have it, so if you want the airflow to come straight in from the outside or if you want it to recirculate the air from the inside of the vehicle. You also have here your stereo system. So sources to turn it on and off. That's your mute button there and your volume and then you've got your radio stations located at the bottom and you also have your USB and auxiliary point there. You have a 12 volt point in there which also comes with your little fag lighter there and a little ashtray located there and a little storage point underneath the van there. Moving on you have a five speed, five speed gearbox there. Located there is your beams and there is your indicators and located on the other side right there is your windscreen wipers there. Also down at the bottom you have your side lights and your fog lights located there. Up at this top point here, this is for your reverse sensors and that will indicate how close or how far you are away from the object behind you.